Welcome to Discover the Villages with Jana Raber. It is December 14th, and so you're gonna see a lot of Christmas on this episode. And like I said last week, there's no better place to be than the villages at Christmas time. We took a ride on the uh, Lake Sumter, the night boat rides, and take a look at this. We're getting ready to go on a nighttime boat ride at Lake Sumter. Look how festive it looks. This place looks like Christmas. This is really nice and festive. The boat is decorated with all kinds of lights and I'm excited. Oh my gosh, look at the size of the Santa. He's got a fishing net and the alligator. I'll tell you one thing, he is huge. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. And can you believe it's only $2 to take a ride on that boat? Um, they do some really neat things. In fact, uh, they've got Santa rides coming up shortly. Everyone's so busy this time of year and it was very short notice, but we had a few friends come around last night and between cameraman and I, we made some pretty nice food and everybody loved our guacamole Grinch. Let's get on with our questions. And the first question is, is there anything in the villages about lighting the menorah? And actually, yes, there, there were two that I'm sure of. One in Brownwood and the other was at Lake Sumter Landing. And we didn't really know about these, but next year we will definitely cover them more in depth because it looked like a really nice night. right side facing you. And the second question is, do a lot of people decorate their homes at Christmas? Well, absolutely they do. And just because we don't have snow or cold weather doesn't mean they don't go all out. I mean, there are so many neat decorations, individual ones. There's people that uh, synchronize in the neighborhood. They're all, you know, have the same kind of de decor. And it is so much fun. We love going around and looking at the lights in the golf cart. That is really special. Take a look.
I really enjoyed that and that's only a tiny bit of what we saw. We could have made the whole film over the lights, but uh, something else I think is really, really cute this time of year, UPS goes around in a golf cart with a trailer attached, delivering the parcels. <laughs> it was funny. And now it's time for our MLS stats for the week of December the 5th through the 12th. We had 18 sold this week, 30 last week, 23 pending, Last week we had 37. New listings we have 33. Last week 40. Price reductions 42. Last week 49. And I think a lot of this is reflection on the time of year that it is. We do have a lot of people out looking. Our open houses are very busy, but it is Christmas time. And to me, actually, with it being a little less activity, it, it would be the perfect time to make an offer on a house. So we have, last week we had 274 active listings. This week we have 280. We are at Johnny Rockets and I have ordered what's called a Route 66 and it is a hamburger with Swiss cheese, onions and mushrooms and cameraman has ordered what's called a Streamliner and it is a uh, plant-based burger and actually he's quite pleased because they have three options here for vegetarians. They have a bean burger, a spicy bean burger, the Impossible Burger, and the Streamliner. So he's a happy camper. I had a hard time deciding what to order because it's not just a burger joint. They have fish and chips, Reuben sandwiches, Philly cheesesteak, hot dogs, gourmet salads, and a variety of adult beverages. In fact, one of the adult beverages was called the Dirty Monkey. I can't imagine. <laughs> Our food has just arrived and my Route 66 burger looks awesome. I smothered everything in ketchup, sorry about that. Uh, looks great. Cameraman's is very interesting looking. That bun is large and looks great. I can't wait to taste it. Oh well. Mmm. Oh, that is wonderful. That grilled burger brings back memories <laughs> from a long time ago at a place that we used to have a, that looked a lot like this and served burgers like this. It's awesome. I'm gonna try a bite of cameraman's. Very good. That burger is so big, it's hard to get your mouth on the whole thing, but that is very tasty. Our server was Blake, and he was very friendly, very personable, and he did a great job. I really enjoyed my burger. It was a lot to eat. Um, I enjoyed the atmosphere, the 50s style, and um, the great service and I think cameraman liked his pretty well too. <laughs> I would definitely come back. I, as far as a burger joint goes, I will have to give this a 10. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I said, it brought back memories from the old grilled burgers. Very nice. Specialties here are milkshakes, sundaes, they have pie, you can have ice cream on the pie. Um, I'm so full though, there's no way I could eat anything else, but 
I would come back and have some pie and coffee. That sounds great. That was so much fun. I really enjoyed the atmosphere and we're right here on the square. And now it's time for House of the Week. I'm at 681 Tequero Street, which is in Haciendas of Mission Hills. It's only 1.1 miles from Lake Sumter Landing. I'm going to show you a Wyndham Courtyard Villa that is three bedroom, two bath, 1871 square feet. And it's listed at 534.9. Oh, I love this beautiful leaded glass door and side light. It's very pretty. Wow, this place is huge. 1871 square feet. This is a lot bigger than some of the designer homes. So, look how nice this kitchen is. Golly, you've got cabinets galore. You've got a pantry over here. I mean, I, I love how these are staggered. Very nice. I love these deep drawers. Those are so handy. Very nice. In this place, this place has got a multitude of stuff. <laughs> I mean, you talk about equipped. This is <laughs> equipped. <laughs> I didn't mention it before, but this comes turnkey with everything here stays. All the linen, silverware, glasses, cups, sheets, the whole shebang. Look how big this breakfast bar is. I mean, there's four stools here and you've got room for two more. And then you have this nice size eating area right here. I like it that it only has the one eating area instead of having the formal dining room and the eating kitchen. I like this. And I mean, this room is, you could do most anything in here. This is a very nice size master. I love the tray ceiling and the extra wide window letting in lots of light. That's very nice. And the bath is here, sliding door. You've got a separate water closet, double sinks and a nice walk-in. Got a nice size linen closet here. And there's another linen closet right here off the master. Bedroom two is right off the kitchen. They're using this room as a den, but it is really a good size. And again, I like the vaulted ceiling. It just makes the room seem even bigger. Lots of natural light. And we've got a closet right here. This is bedroom three. And actually, you could fit a, if you put the bed on this side, you could, you could very easily fit a king size here. And this has, A nice deep closet and right out here you have some more storage this is right off the kitchen and is quite often used as a pantry for canned goods and things but um, they're using it as a linen closet I mean you have so many cabinets in the kitchen I don't know that you really need a pantry <laughs> and this is the gas bath just conveniently off the kitchen and adjacent to the guest room and right outside the bathroom this leads to a double garage and it also has uh, the laundry out there and once again my favorite part of these these are telescoping doors which I love they go all the way back so it really opens up Look how big this lanai is. It's made private by the fencing and the wall. 
Um, this does back up to 466, but I tell you, I think the way uh, the wall is situated and the plantings and all, there's very little road noise. You've got a lot of outdoor space as well. I mean, gosh, you could have several tables, chairs, chase lounge there, good place for a grill. And look at the room you've got out here. Good grief, this is awesome. You could have another patio table and chairs here. And it's absolutely almost maintenance free. All you gotta do is keep the bushes trimmed. These are all painted different colors, but I actually love this color, this soft green. It's, it's beautiful. And look over here, you've got all these beautiful palm trees around and you don't have to pay to have them trimmed. All you have to do is enjoy them. And to sum this up, this is a Wyndham model, which is 1871 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, it's in the very sought after popular area, Haciendas at Mission Hills. Great location. It is ready for the new owner. I mean, there's things in here to entertain with, all kinds of neat stuff. It's turnkey with a golf cart included. It's listed for $534.9 and the bond is paid. If you have any interest at all in this property or any other, just give me a call, text, or email me. I'll be very, very happy to help you. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It helps us tremendously. And if you're planning on coming down, call me, text me, get in touch with me somehow, because I can help you in many, many ways. And it's such a delight. The people, many people that I've helped through my videos, um, how thankful they are and how much they appreciate what I can do for them. So next week, it'll be even closer to the, the big guy in the red suit coming down the chimney. And until then, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. This ride's coming up shortly and they've got a huge Santa Claus down there and they're always, uh, I'm rattling, bike up to 466A, but no, okay. Um, this does back up to 466. Piss me around all the time. <laughs> Everything is so decorated, everyone's so friendly. And last night we went down and did the night tour on Lake Sumter boat ride. No. <laughs>